guys, Jeff Perry's man here with my good friend and dragon tamer, Wheat Man. Hello. <laughs> and we are in a Minecraft uh, game, I guess. It's yep. a dragon defense game. Basically, you um, grow dragons and you try to defend the egg. Is yeah. that is that what I understand of it? Yeah, and I have tried it myself, and the pricing is sometimes a bit harsh, so I like to give myself a bit of extra gold at the start, and besides the normal food for each dragon, they know, they apparently also enjoy eating gold blocks, and it makes them grow up even faster, so... Well, that's yeah. funny. So we've I got one, two, three, four, there are five different dragons. Yep. And each one has their own unique ability. Yep. We have we did play this we did try to play this with Danny, didn't we, one time? And I'm pretty sure he's got um a recording of it on his channel, if I remember. Yeah. I can think that he didn't actually like the map very much because it's chaotic and he doesn't like the chaos. It was probably okay. a bit too much for him, perhaps, yeah. But, you know, let's give it another go and uh, see how we go. Yeah. See if we do better without him. <laughs> wouldn't that wouldn't that be interesting? We all, we do yeah. we do not so good with him with him and then we end up being Best of the best without him, somehow. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll just have to see. Um, but first, before we get into it, let's have a look at the creators and all that. These are the testers, I'm guessing. Yep, these are the testers. And showing them... Guy up, the guy up front here is the actual creator. Hmm. I'm showing their name on screen for a few seconds so that if people... Are uh, interested? They can go and say, you, you know, this is a cool map, and say hello, and yeah, give thanks to them. I guess give a bit, bit of credit to them. Um, yeah. So I guess uh, you have a dog here. Interesting. Hi, doggy. I remember saving that doggy during the one of the games with Danny. But basically kept him here for the sake of what well, if we play the snap with Danny again but we'll take the doggy with me again. But I can of course take ten different wild doggies in the meanwhile on different games. Yeah. This got an army of dogs. <laughs> so shall we get started on level one? Yeah, let's get going. Level one, here we go. I clicked on the sign. Do not move. Why is why is it hurting us? Why are we being hurt while being moved? Okay. I started off with some money. I got a sword. Oh. <laughs> That's literally all I, I got was a sword. Alright. I shall give you this. And quickly, wait, what was it again? Shift, I got, right? Oh, no, it is wrong. Go to the shop. Alright, perfect. Now, which dragon do I remember being called? I'm going to go to them. this one, and this one, and I'm not sure about the other ones. Let's see, we can buy them. You got any crafting table? I'm just about to make one. Okay. Crafting table. Sure. Let's see. Dragon goes there. Then dragon goes here. Nope. Okay. White dragons are a bit bigger, so they need a bit more of a row for this. Hmm. How do I do that? Uh, put them here. Yes, look. Wait, actually, no. I want to close it. No. Alright, 
So the blue dragon is really cool because he actually makes uh, wind with his wings. And the wind actually blows the monsters away from the base. Okay. And the wind one spawns in a white laser beam, which actually uh, raises mobs as well. I'm basically like making the house out of literally anything I can find. <laughs> can you make the full roof so I can put the dragons on the roof? Let's see. Ice dragon will be our main defender here. Can I... Yeah. Bro, guess what? Wow! He's not a big dragon. He's already huge. That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> Do dragons fall? Did the shop earlier? Do dragons fall? By the way. Wait. I don't think they do, but they got you some stuff here, some food, a bow, and some arrows. Okay. I'm trying to be really quick because I know that uh, as soon as it's night time, the wave is gonna start. Thank you. Alright. What can we do besides the basic survival things? I think we already did the thing. Hmm. I wonder if there would be a way to increase the egg health, but I don't think there is. You'd think there would be, but I honestly don't know. There we go. <laughs> I would honestly block this up as well, or well, put a door or something, so that the mobs can just walk in. Do. <laughs> The problem is, I'm fairly certain there's uh, mobs that can dig underground as well. Yeah. Well, bro, I want you to follow me. I found something crazy. There we go. And door. What did you find? Wow. <laughs> That's immense. I don't think you'd want to fall down there. I can't even see the bottom. That is crazy. <laughs> no piece of gold there is up here. It's actually not above the cliff, so not really worth it. This is amazing, but also not a good place to start off mining. While we've still got daylight, we should probably um, start collecting stones and uh, like cobblestone and stuff like that um, for 
um, crafting furnaces and crafting better tools. Yeah. I have a simple trick for that. Oh, cool. Mine 11 cobblestone, which is enough for one furnace and a stone pickaxe, and then you aren't mining more cobble than you need to mine. But you can do the next step faster. Mm -hmm. That's good thinking. Dang it. And even with the stone pickaxe, you should continue using the wooden one for coal because, well, it's a waste of the rest of the wooden pickaxe if you don't. I'm so. I keep on being so tempted by these huge caves, but I know it's best not to go. Honestly, it's good to explore the area a bit to see like where we can go, where we can't go. How do you get to the shop again? You use the pointer thingy, the interact one, you click on the queen egg tool, and then in the chat it says go to shop. But things cost gold ingots, and I'm not sure we have any of those left. Hmm. I don't know if we're completely ready throw for the first wave, but I guess we'll just have to see. Oh, hey, there's water here. Okay. I may have done something stupid, and I'm now inside of the huge cave. Mm -hmm. I landed in water, but I don't know if I have any, like, easy way out of here. You know you can teleport, right? Oh, yeah, right. That's not as stupid as I originally thought it was. <clears throat> is it night yet or is it still day? It's still day, but it's going night um, afternoon. Okay. Like the sun is definitely going down. Ooh. Uh, maybe not yet. <laughs> I was going to explore a cave that I found, but I'm like, uh, maybe wait for another time. <laughs> yeah, or find a water source that can safely lead you down. I would get back if I were you. It's just about to go night time. Okay. Have you gotten a second furnace next to the one I placed? I can make one. Oh, wait. You sure don't think it's needed yet? I only have 15. Um, how do I teleport back again? I think it's, um... I don't remember. There's, there definitely is a way. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna go into spectator mode, just dip through the earth and then come back here. Hello. How did you Ooh, get into I spectator did. mode? I have over OP permissions, aka I can cheat. 
spider jockey does infantry who brought off the initial wave. Ooh. Nice. Your damage has increased for tonight. That's cool. That's good. Oh, we forgot to make a bed. We can't sleep through the night because then we wouldn't have the waves. Plus, I don't think there's actual sheep nearby, so I don't think it's actually possible. Alright. I want to watch our big dragon in action. They don't seem to be attacking, do they? No, the, the mobs aren't close enough for them to be in the dragon range. Oh, I got some gold. Some of them do, some of them don't. It's a bit random. Okay. I killed four so far without a single gold drop, so guess I'm unlucky. I got four gold so far. Okay. Keep checking on the house as well, now and then. Just check on the floor. Yeah. I mean, all of the mobs are going, so you should see them from a mile away. Yeah, but remember last time we played this, we couldn't see them coming up through the ground? Yeah, I think you should see the glow on their ground if they get close enough, so... And I don't think there's any, like, tunnels for them to spawn in on their ground. These guys like to make, um, ladders and trees for no reason. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of ladders just randomly placed in trees when they could have just as easily gone around. I think this first wave is definitely very easy. Oh yeah, it's definitely easier than, than the, the upcoming waves, that's for sure. Watch out! No. They're coming! <laughs> Look! The dragon's getting this one. Oh yes. Good old dragon. Actually you. I'm gonna pick you up and... I know around here we are almost... Wait, why aren't you letting it place you there? There? Nope. There? Maybe. Up here? Close to the zombie? Bro! Incoming! This one is. <laughs> All right, we beat it at full health. That's good. Yes, dragon, fling the zombie away. <laughs> the blue dragon flings the zombies away. Come on, little buddy, do something. <laughs> That's few zombies. Do we actually have to defeat all the zombies or just yeah. survive the night? We have to defeat all of them. Oh, there's one city inside of water. Yes, water is an effective zombie counter, huh? 19, okay. There should be one left somewhere. 
I don't know where we would be. Hmm. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Easy. Should we do with the mark gold that we got? I got 19 gold, so I'll give it to you. Alright. I'm going to make, I'm going to mine some more stone. Alright. Oh, I see where the zombie is. He is on the ground. He's Good making job. his way up, bro. He's making his way up. He's slowly and surely making his way up, and he's actually a lot quicker than I expected him to be. Wow, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't you dare get that egg. Oh, something happened. Did you get him? I think this egg and got him. How? I don't know. We have several dragons, so... Well, we have a big blue dragon now. Can I put this one inside here? Yes! Bro? Mm hmm? We got a very good one right now. If you come inside, we have a poison dragon right here. And the poison dragon is like right next to the egg, so any zombies get real close to the egg will get destroyed immediately. Nice. I would advise against digging so close to the base because of the zombie spawns. Yeah. I was doing that because I wanted to find out where that zombie was coming up, but... Yeah, you're probably right. Ah yes, actually I was going to suggest we should make a moat around our around our base. Seeing as water seemed to um, be a deterrent for the zombies. Yeah, but um, the game is dragon tower defense, so I feel like we should probably focus on dragons over trying to do fun stuff like moats. Mm, okay. Because, like, digging out a whole moat will take a lot of time. And I know that there will be some flying mobs, like phantoms, that will fly over walls in the end, so they'll fly over the moat with ease as well. Yeah, that's a good point. Alright, let's see. This arena. I'm so upset with this mineshaft spawn because it spawns right uh, at but outside of the border. At the border but we're just like a little bit inside and very much outside. I'm going to go around and um, get rid of all those ladders because they're just going to be useful for, the, for more zombies later on, aren't they? I guess so. <laughs> when don't you? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Everything I do is dangerous. Mm. Redstone isn't that useful. Anything else in this cave? Honestly, okay. redstone's probably the most, the the least useful thing to get at the moment. I don't know if any of the uh, dragons eat redstone or anything like that. Oh my god, I found diamonds. Let's go. Nice. I found a diamond. How many diamonds? Only one seriously gained. I found a single diamond. And that's probably the only one you you find in this low in this particular level. <laughs> uh, I get very mad if that's the case. Some of 
these choices like for the zombies to place ladders are very random. Yeah, I think it's up to basically RNG based AI, so I think there's no evil uh, rhyme or reason for it other than if there's a block in the way, they go put down a ladder so that the so they can climb. That's basically it. Also, what's with the squares of um bedrock in the middle of the water? <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think it's part of the game. Because it's like one, two, three that I can see? Oh no, just two at the moment. I'm not sure. I actually don't know. <laughs> No, there's definitely three. <laughs> Maybe that's where they spawn. Oh, what if that is? What if that's totally where they spawn? Uh, then how would you uh, explain that some of them spawn underground and they seem to spawn random? Mm, that's Actually, a good point. I think I could explain it. Basically, on the they spawn on the platform. But there's something like an invisible armor stand that's doing a spread player command to basically spread the mobs out randomly. I could explain the randomness and chaotic spawning behaviors. But I haven't made the map so I don't actually know. I'm just guessing. Man, there's a lot of letters being placed around here. Um, But there's lava right behind the diamond, of course there is. Oh hey. Diamonds that are right outside of the world border. Boo. Dang it. And I'm getting very thoroughly lost in these caves. But I think I remember keep inventory is on, so I think that would be the easiest way back. Plus, you never know when you might need ladders, so handy, I guess. Oh, I found more diamonds. Bruh. I found another single diamond. Well, the important thing is that you're actually finding diamonds, right? Yeah, but only finding two single diamonds is uh, not the best RNG, to say the least. So, um, pretty bad luck, to be honest. Other kind of this. I remember one of the dragon types, but I'm not sure which one actually eats in the fist, so... Sun's starting to go down. If you find any iron, let me know as well. I'm in a bit deeper case, 
where the diamond luck isn't that high, where the iron isn't that common anymore. Mm. Which you need the iron for? Better weapons. We already have a uh, diamond sword, don't we? Ah, uh, true. Not sure if iron is better than diamonds, to be honest. I was gonna make um more pickaxes and axes and shovels. Yeah. Okay, it's night time. Yep, I'm coming. I'm going to almost need to do the spectator thing once again. I got two all iron and two diamonds. We have to really go to the shop real quick. Uh, go to the shop quick. Oh, I don't know. Nope. Wait, the white dragon eats the calcite that spawns around the um Amethyst, but not the amethyst itself. So we can give it one single calcite. Here, buddy. You go and enjoy that. Wave two. I don't think we are actually gonna be ready for this wave. We don't ever seem to get past wave two, do we? I think we got close to it in the last time with Danny, but. I can't remember. It's always the way two that gets you. Oh shit, Phantom. Yeah, I see it too. Can I shoot? No. Yes. Oh nice, I sniped the Phantom. Alright, I'm running back home. Bruh, there's a lot of enemies. Right, I'm currently going out to the left of the house. Trying to uh, get any in the forest. Come back closer to the house. We must fight off all the mobs that are close to the house. If the dragons are attacking some of the zombies, that means we don't have to fight off those zombies as much. But we still gotta find more. Uh, and basically spreading up the work between ourselves and the dragons is the best way to go about things. But I'm running very low on arrows. Creeper! <laughs> Alright. You got any arrows left, bro? Or do you need more? I got six left. Alright. I have 26. I bought a bunch of them. Here. They're on the ground. Oh my goodness me. This ice dragon is doing some work. Oh shit. A creeper blew up our home. No. Buddy. Here buddy. Poison all these dragons. Yes. Poison all these dragons, buddy. Yes. Yeah. This dude. This is no. 
Um, Poison Dragon is doing some small work, but he's doing work anyway, so I'm not a creeper. There we go. Okay. I'm, pro I'm trying to micro between fighting the mobs, making the dragons feel become stronger and doing all the other stuff as well. And there's a lot of creepers blowing up the trees. Alright, do you need some more strength? Or should we focus on the white and on the strength? Oh hey, a zombie villager. Yeah, but he was just the only one. Bruh. There's, uh, there's gold laying around him here, so I'm going to quickly go up and have that gold. Yes, give me the gold, please. Thank you. Alright. We may have lost a bit of health, but we're going to make it through the wave. There's not many enemies left. We almost we almost lost the egg to um zombies building underground. Yeah. More gold at the green egg, that's good. I'm taking all the gold I can get. But the poison dragon actually eats leaves, so I'm gonna actually get some shears and just get go mow down mode on all the leaves. What the hell? Good dragon. Huh? Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> there was a drag there was a zombie digging up from below the house and the poison dragon got him. Yeah. Good bro, we have a giant poison dragon inside now. So I'm guessing because they're adults or Bigger at least, they have more power behind them. Yep, the bigger dragons have more power. All right, so we have thirty-four di uh, thirty-four gold now. I have some in my inventory as well. Let's see, the total we have is fifty-nine. That's both. That is from us both combined. All right, so the poison boy. Here, you have all of the leaves you could ever wish for. And I should probably go back into the mine to get more health sites for the uh, for the white guy, but he's already our biggest and strongest one. Or that guy needs copper ingot or lapis blocks. Mm. You could also go get a fire dragon just for the sake of having one. Oh, uh, why not? Okay, the red, the red dragon eats TNT and sand. And we happen to have a bunch of sand nearby, so um. I no found idea. some iron. Nice. Actually, quite a, quite a bit, honestly. Focusing on um, getting all the dragons to become stronger definitely is a major help uh, in this game compared to the previous ones. Yeah. In the previous games, we didn't get the dragons to become stronger, and that's why we kept on dying to wave two. Oh, 
This one dragon, this one dragon, this one dragon is completely stuck in the cobblestone. <laughs> I don't know if we can, can you move him? You can, okay. I got him, I got him free. Now he's gonna be here, I hope. Yes, now he's here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did need a bit more arrows if possible. There's some in the chest for you. Ah, uh, thank you. No worries. I bought them at the shop as the wave was happening last night. <laughs> um, um, hmm. If there's one thing I'm good at, the more um, time stress there is, the better I become at micromanaging the between everything. What else but do you I'm need? Not, uh, oh, there's a turtle over here. There's two of them. Nice. Yes. But they aren't gonna help us. We need sand for the fire dragon. Okay. To make them big and strong. Collecting sand. Then just drop it onto the fire dragon and you'll grow strong from it. <laughs> the tail's just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Where's my sand? You're digging up there, you jerks! <laughs> We're just digging up your entire home country, Mr. Turtle. There's nothing to uh, see here. How much sand does this guy need? I don't know. I'm just gonna give him two stacks when I have the second stack to be full and... Well, the thing is, they have various growth stages, so... They could honestly never have enough sand because they'll keep on growing and growing. Oh, so the the stage those other dragons are at now, that's not their final stage? I'm not sure what each dragon's final stage is, to be honest. I have given the fire dragon some sand to eat. I Do you just drop it in front of him? Yep, you just drop the sand onto him. Yeah. Actually, I gave him a gold block, so now he should be done and growing up. Here, have another gold block, and then more sand. <laughs> so basically, we just wait for him to eat it, and if you want to see it for like every dragon what they eat, you can go to the shop and it's listed there. But if you look at the dragon, it will sometimes show it as well. Actually, the white dragon isn't showing it, so I think the white dragon is completely maxed out. The wind dragon... Not yet. Okay. We got a almost broken shears. I'm to go destroy a couple more of these. She has a cool gimmick where um, if there's a player close to him, he gets a bigger area of effect. So staying close to home actually has a benefit. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm doing the danger. 
Josephine again. I'm writing a single block of water as water elevator down into the mine. And there's lava directly under me. I hope the water hits it before I hit it. Yes. The water saves me. Let's go. I am pro gamer. <laughs> So how many how many waves are there supposed to be? I think there's like five in total. Considering that we only just made it past number two? <laughs> oh dear. I do not want to know what's on number five. Small sand. <laughs> oh, hey, I found a way to get more help. Let's go. Easy mode activated. How? I basically replaced the player name with the tech health that is at, that was at three and just set it to 15. It's cheating, but whatever. We need it to survive to win the game. Well, speaking of which, um, it's pretty much night time. Oh, wow. That went by very fast. Trying to go get as much skill site from the uh, underground amethyst that I found earlier. Mm, actually, I don't think it's needed because our ice boy is actually maxed out already. Oh wait, found more, found more diamond. Let me guess, it's another single diamond. Wouldn't be, would be surprised or mad at it. Alright, found three single diamond fans throughout the entire game, let's go. Now heading back to the main base. Go. Go. Hi. <laughs> yeah, it isn't, it isn't eating anymore, let's go. Go. We're having iron doors now. It might make it harder for them. Yeah. Maybe I'm opening or closing the door. Watch me. I can just walk in. And now, is there any way out? Oh, look. A fire boy is already shooting fireballs at, at the mouse. Let's go. They gain a lot faster. Yeah, but so are the dragons. Whoa, where did you come from? Poison body? You know your insides, so I'm making your poison area of the fact be bigger. Fire boy is so strong, boy. Oh yeah, Shoker bullets. So bro, there's a new enemy type that is actually uh, Shoker bullets. They basically damage whatever block they hit and that's basically all they do. Oh, um, as well. Wait, did our chest seriously get this 
destroyed. Bruh. How did it destroy the chest? I don't know, but the chest is completely gone. And then the inside of gold that was inside of it is gone too. Holy oh, moly! Sorry. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna win this one. Fire dragon, come on, do the thing, become bigger. It gives you two gold blocks, come on. I can cheat so we can have even more help. Yes, look, we have the max, we have a max out fire drag, let's go. Come on. Oh no, I got hit by the levitation thingy. No, I'm flying like a dragon. Oh my gosh, no. This, this is coming in too close oh, for comfort. Bonk, we have 15 help again. I'm cheating, I don't care anymore. Cheating or not, I am winning this game. <laughs> Whoa, where did that lightning strike come from? I think it's one of the shulker bullets destroying, that destroyed something. We really need more help for the egg. I kind of can't because I was flying from a shulker bullet. Alright. Poison body, you've been amazing so far. Get some gold blocks. Nice. That didn't really not work, did it? Oh, this is actually a good track. Bro, they're all falling into the pit underneath the egg rather than actually being at the egg itself. And underneath the egg, they can actually not really hurt. Oh, sorry, the sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, it's okay. And I'm flying again. Damn it. Look, the choker bullets keep hitting me. They just demolished my house! They demolish everything. Alright, watch somebody. You get the wrong floor. You deserve it, what's wrong? Oh, look at that poison is now doing some sexual hard work now. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Alright. It says there's Super. still one more enemy left. Somewhere. Okay, I've maxed out poison, boy. Let's go. Did we get any gold at the egg? Yes, I think we, we should have. Oh yeah, daytime. Alright, so bro, I'm not sure if rebuilding it is gonna be worth it. We might actually be better off. There's a ton. Kind of getting rid of the house so it's not in the way. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just cheating because I honestly just don't care. I just wanna win. Okay, we got a massive blue boy. A mess. We got me. I feel like what we should do is remove everything, make it a flat land, and then just go put our dragons around it. I have collected all four dragons. Wow, look at the chaos they made. Not just, yeah. not just here, but also everywhere around us, like with the trees and and everything. It's insane. Yeah. Is my not the kind of blocks you want to mess with, huh? Yeah, definitely not. 
let's see, the one dragon we don't have yet is the black dragon, so I'm gonna actually spawn in some gold and give, get myself one of those as well. What level have we got them all on so far? All on level 3, except for the black dragon that I just bought new. Boom. Oh, bro. You got enough blocks to fill in the floor? Do they have to be, um, dirt blocks? No, it can be anything. I used the amethyst and wood myself, so let's see. Two. White dragon gets there. No, red dragon there. Yes, perfect. The white goes here. Maybe not. Dragons are better. Oh. If you ask me. How many more? Honestly, what if I just get one more of each dragon type? Because it cheated in some gold anyway, so. Yeah, this game is no longer a legit run, but whatever. Why is the white dragon not wanting to sit there? Go sit here then. Come on, this is a good place. Yay! I made another chest. <laughs> if we need it. Uh, <laughs> gonna, get this, gonna get destroyed anyway, but uh, nice to help. I'm not sure how um, they destroyed the previous chest, but whatever. <laughs> Just to protect, protect one egg. <laughs> and I'm honestly gonna reset the egg off to 15 for this uh, next wave as well. Yeah, I would. I would definitely do that. Actually, I'm making it 25 and see if we can just survive while taking less than 25 hits. Mm -hmm. 
I kind of have this idea, like, maybe it's not worth it, but I kind of have this idea if we clear a fair amount of the trees and that, um, there's not going to be as many obstacles for the, um, the waves to try and affect. Yeah. being cheated at this point. Are you at bro? I'm just seeing if there's any more um, trees that we can cut down for the time being. Alright. Here. I have a very strong sword and bow. <laughs> nice. Both have been cheated in but like we're gonna need to one shot every single mob there is if we want to win this. Yeah, I get the feeling tonight's gonna be particularly tough. I'm actually kind of surprised that this game doesn't give you never right um, stuff to work with. It gives you diamond stuff, but it doesn't give you never right. That's interesting. I think never right was too OP. Um, is there a way we could close the game? Because it's like a little bit past 1 p.m., so I actually have to go for lunch. Oh, um. Can we pause the game? cycle to false so now the sun won't set and I hope it's safe for us to go AFK for a little bit now yeah so I'm gonna quickly go get lunch and then I'll put the daylight cycle back on all right well in that case we'll pause the recording and we'll see you guys in the next episode see how we go with it <laughs>